Welcome to Apalachicola, Florida, home of my favorite beer, Oyster City Brewing Company. The station raw bar right there is excellent. And Oyster City is right there. Right down that road right there. So we just drove through a beautiful stretch of Florida, a stretch of coast that they like to call the Forgotten Coast, and a lot of really beautiful areas, uh, you know, all the way through there, St. Mark's, and then over to Carabel, Apalachicola, East Point. We're headed a little bit further west than that to a town called Port St. Joe, another seaside town. It's an area of Florida that neither I or Abby have ever been to, and uh, we're excited about it. We've got a campground that's located right next to the Indian Pass. Never been there before, so we're, uh, we got our hopes out that you know, we're gonna have a, a fun time there. We're gonna be there three nights and uh, visit a couple spots there in Port St. Joe, maybe the, the uh, island out there, you know, the beaches. We're looking forward to it. A couple more days. We're making our trek back to Pensacola and we wanted to stop and visit a couple new areas in, in Florida that we haven't been to and this being one of them. So we'll be there soon. So a friend of mine, Drew Petty, Petty Weldon, highly recommends this spot here at Indian Pass Raw Bar. We're gonna be going there for dinner. There it is. We're gonna have to check that one out. It's supposed to be a lot of great places here to enjoy. We are almost there. So we're on a peninsula. I don't know if you can see that on my phone there. That's the Gulf. Beautiful down here. I love all the palm trees. A lot of beautiful homes. I think we're nearing our destination here. All the way at the end of the peninsula. Indian Pass Campground. Look at that. Island Shuttle. No idea it was even there. Well, we've made it to our RV site here at the uh, Indian Pass Campground. And uh, I gotta say, it leaves a little bit to be desired of where we're at. So I'm not 100% I'm not happy about uh, this specific spot, not the actual campground. But when I reserved it, they did say that this site was the only one that they had left available uh, during the dates at which we needed a spot. So we're right here on the road. You got uh, construction happening across the street. There's been a lull going in and out of here already uh, setting up. But what do you do? That's just part of it, right? The actual campground is all this right here, all back in here, which I haven't even been in there yet. We haven't driven through it. I would have loved to have one of those more shady spots in there and was really, really hoping that we could get, they actually have sites along the pass. So you're right on the water there. So we're gonna take a stroll through there later and uh, see what that looks like. But this is our setup anyway. Um, 
I thought it was a 50 amp, but it's a 30 amp. So at least we got power. They have no hookups here. So you have to do a pump out. So we have a, uh, we were scheduled to leave Sunday. So they don't do pump outs on Sunday. So we've got one scheduled for Saturday. Uh, so we're just gonna have to uh, stop somewhere, a rest area on the way home to finish washing this thing out, our tanks before we head home. But anyway, here we go. This is our, this is our site for the Indian Pass campground. But <clears throat> we're gonna you know, go into town and we're gonna find us some dinner and we're gonna hopefully do a little bit of a little bit of exploring around the area, around Port St. Joe, and kind of see what this place has to offer. All right. We have decided we're gonna go into town, into uh, Port St. Joe, and uh, probably just go around. They got what looks like a Main Street district. We're gonna go there, walk around. Abby wants to check out town, and uh, we'll, we'll probably, Drew recommended the uh, Uptown Raw Bar, which is the one in town, and of course the Indian Pass Raw Bar. So I may uh, see I'm if I excited. could. I may see if I can talk Abby into us trying the Uptown Raw Bar today for uh, for dinner. Approved. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> hit it. So got the camera with me today, so maybe we'll show what the uh, the town looks like there. Drew recommended what he said. He goes eat it Uptown, and then he says uh, right there next to it, I think there's an ice cream shop. He goes finish off uh, dinner there with a dessert at the ice cream shop and then walk across the street. There's a park there and watch the sunset. So all approved. That might be what we end up doing Ooh. today, but we're going to check it out. Ooh, ice cream sounds good. It does sound good. Vacation ice cream is always good should, ice cream. Well, can you start with ice cream and then drink beer? Ooh, is that uh, No, not recommended. Okay, okay. Nope. so we got to drink the beer first and then have the dinner and then have the ice cream. I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's okay. That might be the way we okay, go. Yeah. All right, we made it to the uh, Main Street area. There's uh, there's Uptown right there. Oh, Look, good. Uptown Road. Oh, so Can you park right here? Well, park, right here. park right here. Yeah, park right here. So it's pretty cool. I see some shops I need to go in already. All right, I guess we're gonna go do some walking. Good. I've already the, the little bit that I've seen coming in is actually quite intriguing. There's a huge area along 30A where people have bought property and pole barn after pole barn after pole barn. 30E. I thought it was 30A. Is it? I thought it was 30A. Oh, anyway, okay, sorry. there's a lot of people that have built pole barns to put their camper under as, you know, I don't know if they live there permanently. I'm assuming it's like a vacation place for them to go. But people here have taken on the trend of putting up a pole barn to camp their, uh, park their camper under. It's really cute. And some of it, the ones even had little screened in porches. They're like developed into, it's like a second home for them. It's yeah. genius. You know, yeah. you have either a concrete slab or the, or the gravel and you park your camper under it. And then when the, like this area was one of the places that was devastated by Hurricane Michael a few years ago. So I think that is sort of a trendy thing to do. Put up a structure that doesn't cost a lot of money and you don't have a permanent home bolted to the ground that's going to get blowed away in the, in the wake of a but hurricane. they look so nice. Everything little looks little really good. Really it's nice. it's yeah. very charming looking. This is adorable. So anyway, let's get out and walk around. I'm excited. So we just walked the, I would call the Main Street, which is one block over. We walked that whole Main Street area over there. And so we're this is Highway 98, so this is the main highway. He told me that we could go into the shops, but all he was really trying to do was find a place to drink beer. I was trying to find a beer drinking <laughs> place. So look at this right here. It's called Taproot, a beer joint. You got this the lighthouse like right there as well. Place. This is the park. I think Drew was talking about right over there. So this place opens in just a couple of minutes. So I think we're gonna come over here and uh, and have us a beer. Because I think that's a really cute name. Tucker. We'll get you a t-shirt. So we walked over to Taproot, got us a beer, and they sell- Oyster City. Oyster City here. So I got me an Appalachia IPA. She got her a Hooter Brown. Neat little place. You can tell they've had to do some repairs. They got a new roof in here. I told Adam that for the new house, I really want <laughs> this uh, dartboard game behind us. I'm getting one. <laughs> we get one in there. It's cool. I love these kinds of places like this. You know, they took an old building that needed repair and they repurposed it make it into a fun place for people to come and visit. I love it. This is a good good beer. Good beer. Cheers. Cheers. Port St. Joe. Our first day at Port St. Joe. Okay. 
Okay, so we're at Uptown Raw Bar and Grill. This place is awesome. See behind me? You can choose your own beer. It's self-serve. You just go get whatever you want. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Show them. Self-serve beer. beautiful. You see the taps right there? You can just serve yourself. Whatever you want, you just go over and get. This is a huge menu. She says that the oysters are their most popular. I'm probably going to get shrimp, but I don't know. I'm probably going with oysters. You have to. You have a lot of oysters. And that's their specialty. You can't go wrong with the Oyster City Brew. Made right next door in Apalachicola, Florida. They have mahi tacos. I'm getting that. That's what I'm getting. You're getting tacos? I'm getting, I'm getting tacos, yeah. You're, get, you're gonna get some tacos. Oh, I love mahi. Ugh. You have the guys up here doing a great job on the grill. Hey, huge thanks to Drew Petty. Petty Welding for recommending this place. Agreed. I cannot wait to eat here. Look at these tacos. Mahi tacos. Ooh. Yes. Yes. What did I get though? You got oysters and they look amazing. So we got the King's oysters. Look at this. Ooh. King's oysters. Let's eat. We are ready to eat. Yeah. We got the right beer. We got the Oyster City beer. Oysters and tacos. We are ready I am to go. So <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you take a uh, saltine. And you take the oyster that has been baked with the cheese and the bacon and everything with it right there. Okay. I like, look, they give you a whole array of Tabasco, I'm sorry, hot sauce. I like the Tabasco. And that's how you enjoy your oyster right there. You're happy. So good. <laughs> He's happy. This is the real Florida right here. You have your Oyster City beer. Or your water. Or your oysters, or your fish, or your shrimp. This is how you enjoy Florida, right here. Agreed.